We were imbued with a sacredness that infused us, a sensation of moving with the universe, one force of energy. Touch created illumination, shadows like illusion, sweeping white spaces with figures enacting out on walls what our bodies were formed for. Exaltations expressed through exhalations, dripping then drenched a medley of heavy caresses. We intoned with voices greater than our own, a new state of being. With exuberance, we shifted away from our humanness. We cannibalized one another, devoured our longings, then lit fires beneath the thirst so that it evaporated, returned, dissolved again. That cycle still sits within me, without the relief of our bodies colliding, I spin whilst the cravings spread, knowing this period of enlightenment has ended. If I cannot gorge myself on you, fill myself to full, then I am left starving, a forced fasting, malnourished from trying to exist on the memories alone of how I devoured your extremities before entering, pushed past your pain, inhaled your cries, I was the flame that licked every fragment and left you burning until you turned into smoke, filling my room, an invisible vapor that whirled with the incense we burnt, spirals as entangled as our our bodies, how shadows were. You don't want to know about my suffering. The passion was okay when you were in love with me, but suddenly this other side, it's ugly. Unfortunately, I cannot just switch it off. I have not regained my humanness. I am still that animal, seeking the scent of you on pillows, sheets, my t-shirts you wore. One whiff and I am overcome by despair at this finality. Listen, it's a form of masochism. I sit and witness my own sickness, not interested in self-forgiveness. So, come back to me for one last fuck. We'll make it just that. Shed our skin, leave multiple trails of blood, sweat, tears smeared on sheets which are the final page of our story. I want nothing to do with your heart, just your body. We'll make it a transaction, your flesh for my sanity. I don't care if this vulgar state leaves you disgusted because there are parts of me grotesque. I recede into these, find them comforting, even if these moments of unabashed wanton are fucking ugly.